Let me see. I want to go on to my YouTube studio, see if we started already. And we're live. Hold on, give it a couple minutes until 8 o'clock comes. And you know, I really love this music. <laughs> I always comment on it. I love this song. I just, I feel Texas. The name of it is Waltz, Waltz in a Low Light or something like that. But it gives me a, a nostalgic the, feel. They should call it the Texas Math Unit theme song. Right, right, yeah, it really is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're almost there. Oh, I get 8 o'clock, so I think we should start. All right, hold on, let me pause it. All right. And gentlemen, we are live streaming. How's everybody doing today? So, let's go ahead and welcome our guest. Our guest, when I say your name, please uh, give a small introductory comment about yourself. Uh, let's start going uh, counterclockwise. Let's go with uh, Ricky Ochoa. Say hi and tell us a little something about yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Ricardo Ochoa. I'm from Mission Collegiate High School, currently a senior. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to have a great live stream today. Yeah, and don't be humble. Three event state champion last year, Class 3A. That's true, that's true. All right, we got we got nothing but the best on this show. And then a uh, another state champion, another state champion, Mr. Anthony Newberry. Tell us, tell us a little something about yourself. Say hi. Well, you have to go back to the 1990s to get those, but... Uh... I've coached a few state champions at uh, Wichita Falls Hershey for years, and and then I made the move to Seminole High School. So we're trying to uh, develop a new tradition out here. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm excited to join in tonight. Awesome. Thanks for the invitation, Paul. Oh, and not only that, you're an author. You write the Virtual Challenge Meet Number Sense. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, any. So I guess if you guys have complaints, <laughs> you can voice those. Uh, I don't know if I've been making them hard enough this year, but uh, I noticed, yeah, noticed some of the results coming out. So, yeah, I love writing. Um, I'll probably get a little more creative the next three tests. Uh, try to try to anticipate what Larry might tweak a little bit, you know, as the year goes on. So sometimes I miss on my guesses, but sometimes, uh, sometimes I guess write it, but he's – little changes he's going to make. But it's fun. All right. All right. And Brennan Ashley, tell us a little something. A perennial power contender. Yes, I'm Brennan Ashley, and I'm a sophomore at Hallsville High School. And last year, I got second place 5A calculator applications. All right. And uh, most recently, a perfect score in the UIO A math. Yes, sir. All right. We're going to visit that. I'm not sure I could do that. I don't it's pretty pretty hard to get through that thing in 40 minutes now. Yeah. Hey. Mr. McCarty's been making them tough. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy coaching it either. Hey, I'm the one who I'm the one who doesn't belong here. I'm the wannabe, guys. So we'll catch you up. But I have been coaching. I've been involved with UIOA. I have a passion for it. I love it. And so uh, I'm so happy to be able to, uh, to share these results and uh, get some enthusiasm going. Guys, this is a live stream, so it's all about interaction. If you're listening out there, go ahead and drop a comment in the live chat. I will visit the live chat often. Also, towards the end of the show, after we've gone through several UILA results, I'll look at the Discord and field any calls. If you feel like you got a great comment or passionate about anything, please, we want to hear your voice. That's what this is all about. Live stream is is getting some inter engagement, getting some interaction, and hearing your voice. Let's start off with some initial thoughts about the uh, second semester in UILA. Ricky, what were your initial thoughts about the UILA and, uh, and the season so far? Right, so for UILA, ah, uh, that's, I, I just started getting back into the swing of things with UIL. Uh, most of November and December, I've been working on my college applications and scholarships. Um, and a lot of January, at least early January, was dominated by robotics. So I didn't get a lot of time to practice uh, for math, calculator, number sense. Um, I think my math scores were pretty all right. Uh, my calculator did go down uh, quite a bit. 
But right now, we're hoping second semester to just build the team back up uh, in time for Team SEA State. All right. Overall, the UILA tests were pretty solid this year. Cool, cool, cool. And how's the enthusiasm in the Valley? How's the uh, Valley been? Well, the Valley's been, like, really cool. Um, so we've got, you know, obviously David, Daniel, Ramirez, powerhouses. But I will say, um, with David in particular, um, I don't know if you guys have had the chance to see the latest uh, VCM3 results. Uh, they just came out today. <laughs> But David got second in calculator, uh, 320. Um, he's just really been like uh, picking up calculator now. Um, he was mainly focusing on mathematics last year, but he's been improving like crazy lately. Hey, David so Holby. got a really healthy scene down here. David Holby, and he's a science beast also, isn't he? Yes. Uh, he, he always blocks me from getting top physics at our local meets. Always. <laughs> Hey, so he's your reason four, Mr. Newberry, your reason one. Uh, what are your initial perceptions about the year to date and ULA and out there in region one? How are things over there at Seminole? Well, mostly I, uh, so we keep going all the Lubbock meets. So that's mainly the scores I've seen. Uh, I feel like the Lubbock's, I feel like the scores at, at Tech were a little lower than I would have expected for an A test. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't mind hearing these guys' perspective on what they thought of the, you know, that obviously somebody scored a perfect on the ULA math, so <laughs> the perspective might be a little different. But the 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 number sent scores I thought were a little lower than I would usually expect on an A test, and uh, so I don't know if that was statewide or just our area. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm ex I'm excited to see how we we progress the next couple months and. Uh, See how we fare in Region One. I think it's. I think I told you last May or so that uh, I plan on send, sending somebody to state. So I, I think that can still happen. Hey, uh, yes. Hopefully. But but Region One's not. It's definitely not the strongest region. Uh, it looks like right now. Hey, so, I put it on the board. I put it on the board. Newberry says he's taking somebody to state this year. That's that's what I put on the board. So well, good. All right, good. Proud of myself to it. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey Brennan, go ahead. Brennan, out there in uh, Region Two, what's going on over there? What's your perception so far? Um, I gotta say it's been very active. Much, I'd honestly say it's been a bit less active than last year was, but we've definitely seen quite a few names pop up. We've seen quite a few on our team, like Hunter, Zach, Mark, even Evan. We've seen quite a few names trying to step up on our team alone. And even just like outside of our team, we've seen Mount Pleasant been being pretty good. And as well as that, like just a lot of names like staying consistently strong. But as for the tests, I'd say number sense was very difficult. And I feel like he's going to make that a pattern this year. And we're going to see yeah. difficult tests like that at state. And it won't be easier. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's, it's not going to be easier. So, <laughs> Mr. Larry White playing. making it hard. Oh good. Yeah. Right. yeah. So you're in favor of hard tests to separate people. Um, <laughs> I usually like a first like twenty to thirty to be pretty quick, and then and then kind of separate from there. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. I don't ever want to, you don't want to discourage the newcomer. So when you're writing a test, you usually want to make the first 20 questions pretty nice. All right. Cool. Cool. I think Larry mostly adheres to that same, same idea, but he did tell me he wanted to make sure and put some tougher stuff. Uh, even the SAC test this year wasn't easy. And I think that was on, that was to tell us it, it wasn't going to be an easy year. Okay, okay. Hey, guys, let's take an initial look at the live chat. Um, of course, you know, these things save automatically as a video, so we'll get certain views tonight live. Hopefully we get plenty, but it still saves, and we'll get maybe hundreds of views afterwards once it's saved. All right, guys? So let's take an initial look at the live chat. Give me a second. Live chat. And we got, let's see who's trying in. Anthony Zhu is uh, hyped up. I'm happy. Hey, when you chime in, go ahead and say hello, where you're from. 
Hey, Warith. Uh, for, uh, saying hi to Ricardo and Brennan, co-host. Hey, Warith, maybe it'll be you next time. Peter Fuentes. All right. Too many state champions. Emiliano, make them harder. Oh, making them harder. Hey, Emiliano, <laughs> what school are you from? Uh, oh, that's Edgar Lemus. Oh, Edgar uh, Lemus. Hey, Edgar Lemus been tearing. The Edinburgh North team is tearing it up in number sense. I looked at those results. Yeah. Edinburgh North, man, they're ridiculous. They're looking Didn't really, really strong. Do they know really what strong. they scored on the A test? Uh, we're gonna look at them. I got those results here to share, so I know it's pretty ridiculous, though. Like, I know they scored a nine eighty nine on this VCM. So, oh, and I got one of my students from third period saying hi. Math is beautiful. Hey, keep it great, great, great. Uh, and uh, Julie, for Rick, Peter said this uh, right now at practice. Ricky's making up excuses for that A test. <laughs> Uh oh, you know who Julie is, baby. Here? Baby. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Warren, you're on my list, man. You're tearing it up over there at Allen. You definitely are welcome to co-host in the future, man. I want you. I want you with me. You got. I like your enthusiasm, and uh, you sent me the results, so we're gonna share it momentarily. So I really appreciate it, Warren. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. Here's the plan. What we're gonna do is we're going to uh, go through some results. I'm going to go through two results at a time. Um, and then, so we got uh, K7 Lakes. I got Pine Tree results. And then we'll stop and look at the chat. We'll go to Princeton and the Red Raider Classic results. Stop and go to, to the chat. Uh, Selena Stem, and maybe if time permits, uh, the Virtual Challenge Week number three, we'll, we'll take a quick look at those results. Uh, then we'll go, uh, each time we'll visit the live chat, we'll make commentary ourselves. And then what will happen at the very end, I'll look at the Discord, see if anybody wants to call in and share their voice. So, uh, And then we'll have some final thoughts and mention the next live stream. Hey, before we get started, though, I do have to say a very special shout-out and thanks to a couple people. Uh, I just monetized the channel. Like, you know, it's not about the money, but, you know, I do want to make a shout-out to those uh, help, to help the cause. Ilario, Dr. Dr. Ilario Alvarado, seven-time, I believe, state champion in the early 90s. Uh, you know him, Newberry? I do. Hey, so he, he made a... Uh, he, he was a measuring stick. He made sure. a contribution. He made a classification, but <laughs> if you could, if you could uh, compete with him, you could compete with anybody. Hey, he's great. He's passionate. Uh, love him. Uh, and then uh, Avian Shapa. Do you know that name, uh, Ricky? Yes, I do. Hey, he made a contribution to the cause, so I just want to make sure I... Uh, I say hi to them and make a shout out to them because uh, I really appreciate it. You know, it's a it's a labor of love, but still, it's always nice to get a little bit of help in the cause. So appreciate it. Appreciate it to those two gentlemen. All right, you ready? UILA. Let's start out with the K seven Lakes results. So K seven Lakes. Let's start out with number sense. And you know, I don't have the uh, calculator, so ouch. I'm just noticing that. Oh well. So, let's take a look. Let me uh, blow this up to get an optimal view. And in Katie, they just list the top 10 scores. And of course, uh, your usual subjects, and this is in number sense, Justin Lai, uh, 310 uh, from Clements. Kevin Shen from Clements with a 258. Andrew Nguyen from Tomball Memorial. I had him on a team interview. Uh, very smart. Enoch from Clements. Catherine Liu from Clements. So, four of the top five are from Clements. And I was there at Katie Seven Lakes. I was there at Katie Seven Lakes. So that's their uh, number sense. And it's UIL uh, format, so it's just the top 10. And general math. General math, again, Justin Lies, the Justin Lies show. And uh, he got a 360, a perfect score. Perfect score. Uh, Eric Lee from Elkins, also a beast at 352. Carter Tucker, uh, 2A from Latexo with the 330. Uh, he's by far, I think, the favorite to uh, be the 2A state champion. Aryan Bora from Clements. Alexander June from Clements. Leo Yu from Je uh, Clements. Luke Yan. So it was the Clements and Elkins show with the kid from Latexo uh, mixed into the mix. Um, and then, finally, the last... Uh, the, I don't have the calculator, unfortunately. I, I thought I had the calculator. And then science, science uh, at K7 Lakes. We got uh, Jason Fan from Memorial High School uh, at first place with a 320. 
Cyril John from Glenn Dawson with the 288, Ariane Bora from Clements, Vishal Sundaram from Elkins, Nishal Kanduri from Tompkins, and Joshua Kazmir from Needville. So there's a lot of big mix in science. But you know what name I don't see here? I don't see Dulles High School, which for years was a dominant force in science, but uh, they seem to have fallen off the map a bit. So it is what it is. So those are the K-7 lakes. They'll go, we'll quickly go to the pine tree, uh, pine tree results, and then we'll pause, gentlemen, and we'll make some commentary, okay? So not th jot down your notes, make some mental notes, decide what you want to comment. Uh, we got the K-7 lakes result, then we'll do pine tree. In calculator, I do remember that uh, K-7 lakes did not compete, so the defending state champions did not compete, so it's hard to know. I think it might have been North Shore that won. I'm not sure, but it's unfortunate. I forgot, I forgot about the calculator results from Katie Seven Lakes. Too bad. Uh, maybe somebody can sign me in the chat. So, from Pine Tree, and uh, this was you, Brennan, who shared this with me earlier, correct? Yes, sir. All right, so let's start off with uh, Number Sense, using uh, Number Sense uh, Big School Ninth Grade. And give me a second here. Got to maneuver this. So, uh, ninth grade, Alex Shen from Pine Tree, Ashley Dunn from Pine Tree, uh, and just so the top three from Pine Tree, Morgan Rue from Pine Tree. That's ninth grade. Uh, tenth grade, we got, uh oh, Brennan and Ashley, 283 from uh, Hallsville. Then we got Pine Tree, Pine Tree, Pine Tree with Emily Willitson, Matthew Sprague, Sprague, Adam Renehas. I guess, uh, and Victoria Route Cussler. Guys, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't abuse these on purpose. I just don't know. Hey, there goes your boy, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, what, Jenkins, Mark Jenkins. So he, he came up there. Good, 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 good. All right. So that's, you want to say something about your friend, Brennan? Oh, that's actually Luke's brother. Oh, you know, I thought it was Luke, but then it was Mark. Oh, yeah. wow. What, what happened to Luke? Did he graduate? Um, No, but he, I don't think he can actually... I don't know if he competed at this meet or not. He might have, but, but there's also another Jenkins who's a freshman, Matthew. Oh, okay. So, the Jenkins the whole family. The pipeline of Jenkins. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, 11th grade with a 115, Morgan Roberts from Hallsville. Hey, that's a teammate. Uh, Y'all gonna make some noise in a in a number sense, or is it a Highland Park over there? Um, I think we I think we can get it this year at least. Okay, but um, you're five. Year, I don't know. It depends. We we're up against Frisco Heritage right now. Oh, but, yeah, Highland Park six A right now, right? Yeah. For, yes, 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 for yes, this yes. year. Yes, sir. Uh, Luke Thurman, Mount Pleasant, eighty four. Reed Bryan, Hallsville. That's eleventh grade. And then uh, 12th grade, number sense, 166. So yours was the best score in the meet, Brennan. Yes, sir. Jose Aranda, Pine Tree. Uh, Nathaniel Martinez, that's a name I know, from Mount Pleasant, 65. Ethan Sanchez. All right, so that's uh, number sense. Let's go to calculator. Calculator, ninth grade. Evan Doonan from Hallsville. Ooh, calculator. Alex Shen from Pine Tree with the 182. Morgan Ray from Pine Tree. Ashley Dunn from Pine Tree. Hey, Pine Tree has a really solid team. Yeah, they've got a really good middle school program. And their high school is still pretty good. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of struggling with us in the same district. Look at that. Brennan Ashley with a tree 20, man. By far the class of this tournament. <laughs> wow. Emily Willitson, Pine Tree, 210. Zach Owen from Hallsville, 194. Mark Jenkins from Hallsville, 194. So, uh, Mount Pleasant, they usually have some good teams. Alessandro Greco. All right, that's good. So, y'all going to win a, a calculator in Region uh, 2 this year also? Uh, maybe. I, th I think we will. All right. Put it on the board. Just like Seminole going to state. I'm putting it on the board. All <laughs> right. Ready? Hey, calculator 11th grade, Luke Thurman, Mount Pleasant, 257, Morgan Roberts, Hallsville, 201, 
Yahara Pina from Mount Pleasant, 194. That's 11th grade. And then uh, in 12th grade calculator, Nathaniel Martinez, Mount Pleasant. I knew I heard his name before with a 280. Very nice score, very nice score. Clinton Reboard from Mount Pleasant, 222. Jose Aranda, 199. All right, some good stuff. Now let's go to, uh, the number says, now let's go to math, and then we'll take a pause, and uh, you can tell us, your, tell, tell us your thoughts and observations about these scores. So, math, big school. Ninth grade, Alex Shen with a 150 pine tree. Brandon Hayes, 104. Hallsville, Emo Lou. Tenth grade, Brennan Ashley, perfect score. How's that? At 360. <laughs> More than doubling the second place goal. Man, I don't know what you're made out of, Brennan. I don't know what you eat, but you need to share that with me because this is ridiculous. You, know, you may need to send your solutions my way. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Maybe. And only a sophomore. And only a sophomore. This beast is around for a couple more years, man. I can, I can give, you a couple numbers, it's, I'll give you a couple numbers since shortcuts. Ooh. <laughs> Hey, that sounds like an even trade. trade. That sounds like an even trade. I can still hit a 391 when I need to. <laughs> All right, got here at Pena, man, with a 172 in math. Erika Furlong from Pine Tree. Luke Thurman from Mount Pleasant. And then finally, big school math. Nathaniel Martinez from Mount Pleasant High. Now, I hope, if Nathaniel's uh, uh, listening, I hope he calls in, man. I'd like to say hi to him. Uh, Clinton DeBoard, Jose Aranda. All right. So, these are the first two results. And uh, any thoughts, gentlemen? Did you jot down any notes, Ricky? Right. So, right here, I've got like a little notepad with scores. Um, along with some of the BCM3 scores that these guys got. <clears throat> so starting off with uh, Justin Lai, uh, 310 number sense. That's pretty good. Um, on the BCM3, he got a 346. So, I mean, going into, you know, Team SEA State, I mean, he's looking pretty strong. Um, though I will note, and I know we haven't gotten to the scores from the Valley yet, um, I think it's really going to be between him and Edgar Lemus this year at UIL State. And I'm going to be really excited to see how that battle ends up. Um, on the VCM3, uh, Edgar got the top score, uh, 364, on the VCM3. Really? So I need to skip that the, out. The whole Edinburgh North team is insane. Um, but just in line, math. I mean, it's going to be between him and Eric Lee. Um, that's why I think. So, Justin Lai had a perfect math score. Uh, Eric Lee had a 352. Don't forget he Andrew Lee. The that's true, too. Andrew Lee. Um, He's the defending champion, in fact. That's yes. a battle. That's going to be a beautiful battle to watch. Yeah, 6A is going to be real intense this year. Yeah, it's intense. Um, and with Carter Tucker down, down in 2A... Yeah, I agree with what you had said earlier. He's probably the favorite to win 2A. Uh, 330, it's a really impressive score. Um, on the VCM3, uh, he got a 318 on the math. So, hey, I, I just mean, talked to him fun. recently. I just talked to him at, um, we went to Nederland. We went to the Nederland tournament and Latexel, man, they drive so far. I don't know where I'm going to see him sometimes, but he was in Nederland. But, you know, I will say about Carter Tucker, a very deserving young man, a nice young man, and he's agreed to uh, co-host the UIOB with me. So he'll be here. Carter Tucker will be co-hosting the, UI, uh, the UIOB me. Uh, but for years, he had to deal with uh, Nicholas Ellison. You know, Nicholas Ellison was ridiculous, yeah. man. You know, so so I'm glad that he's getting his moment to really, really shine and, and, and you know, uh, head and shoulders above the rest. All right, hey. For sure. I mean, if, if Nick... If Nick Ellison like is competing in your classification, like that that is just horrible. Hey, it was like uh, Justin Lee from Highland Park for those years too, man. Uh, uh, Abilene Wiley, uh, Aiden a uh, couldn't get by. Derek Lee from uh, Sheridan Pioneer, they couldn't get past him, man. He was just like a beast. So it is what it is when you have a guy like that, like a generational guy. It's ridiculous. Newberry, what was your what are your comments and what were your notes? 
Well, I mean, it looks like we might have the star of the show right here on the show. Hey. With, the, with the perfect math and a 320 calculator. Um, and you won, you won number sense that me too. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of really, really good scores. I'm looking at the BCM scores because I write it. So uh, we may have, to, may have to toughen up the next one just to give them a little district precursor. So, um, I don't, I usually like to make the first two or three, not too bad. So, so you, uh, get kids kind of starting out and, and get them some confidence and get them moving and then maybe hit them a little bit when they get close to district. So. And you're right. The star. You, guys, y'all want, y'all want a little harder? You want a little harder on the next VCM? <laughs> I'll pass. I want my score to be in the 200s on the VCM. Damn. Okay. What'd you score in the last VCM? I think like a 285. I didn't have um, a great day. I don't know if I'm going to knock you down 85 points, but. I think I got like a 245, so I'm already in the danger zone. <laughs> That's now. pretty solid. That's pretty solid. I'd take anybody scoring 200 plus on my team. <laughs> so. Hey, star of the show, you're right. Brennan, man, it's ridiculous the scores you're posting, man. So tell us about your thoughts. What were your notes? I mean, that math was a pretty good test, Simon. I feel like I don't know if we'll see it again this year. It might happen this weekend. But, I mean, it was a pretty good day for me at Pond Tree. And then looking over to the VCMs, I mean, my math and number sense, they didn't really reflect that as much. But I still feel like I showed up pretty strong where I needed to which my main focus this year is going to be calculator because I want to gun for that state championship. And if I can get that, then I'll be very happy. But that's why I really need to lock in on. Hey, Hallsville better, better enjoy it while they can because Highland Park's back to 5A next year. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> better there. enjoy it while you can. Although I, th I think it will be a battle, especially between you and Andrew Lee. Yeah, that re and even Agnew next year. Agnew is oh, still returning. Agnew. So that whole region is just going to be basically who wins the region, who wins state, you know? Yes. Wow, wow. It's going to be a battle. Agnew Sarkar? Wow. Oh, yeah. He's oh. a beast. I think it's always good. You were talking about district even. I think it's, I think you're always better off when, when your district is tough because, uh, you know, everybody's got pride and you want to you want to win your district and – so just I think it gets you hitting it hard earlier. So yeah, I I I'd rather have a tough district than not a tough district. True, true, true. Absolutely. Hey, let's take a quick check with the chat. See if anybody signed in. Oh, we got a few more Shimers in. Let's say let's take a look. Uh, I am pleased to report our school got no questions wrong in UIOA. <laughs> what up? Who's this? Who's this? Cocky shorts. <laughs> I think uh, North Shore didn't go to Katie. Wait up, uh, North Shore. I, they were there, I believe, because I graded right next to. Uh, yes, I graded right next to Don Kirby, the legendary coach. Hey, Dominique Enriquez, duly noted. Math is beautiful. Warris, you found the calc. Oh man, I'm sorry. I should. I don't know what I did with the calculator score. Uh, saying hi to Warris, Eric Lee, and Justin Lai at 320 for first. Enoch Clemens. Oh, these are the calculator scores. So Eric Lee and Justin Lai at 320 for first. Enoch 278. Carter Tucker 257. Raymond Shaw from Elkins 245. Rest of the top 10 was uh, 239, 208, 201. Hey, thank you, Ars, for that. I appreciate that. I just overlooked it and how, how busy life is. Clements had top calc team with 791. Elkins had a 750. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ars. I appreciate this. Hey, we need to get a Warth on here, too. Maybe it'll be Carter Tucker and Warth. And uh, Nederland Meat was insane. <laughs> yeah, Nederland was great. Nederland was great. Hey, Oves, give us a name or give us a high school. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Uh, let's move it along to the next two results. You ready? So next, we're going to look at the Princeton results. Uh, I think Warth sent me those and the Red Raider Classic. So starting with the Princeton results, uh, we got Number Sense Large School. Allen, Warth Raman, 290. This was number sense. Uh, he's uh, the guy who's commenting. Walrus, he's the guy who comments. 
who just provided us with the KD7 late scores. Anthony Zhu, 236. Uh, so King Tess, 232. So it's Allen, Allen, Allen. And then Lovejoy, Hana Mao, it looks like. And then Allen, Allen. Uh, Blake Malsby, Daniel Bowie. So Allen seems like the, the class of that meet. They had a team score of Raman, Zhu, and Tess with a 758. More than doubling second place Lovejoy. So that's Allen's number sense, large school at the Princeton meet. Uh, calculator. Anthony Zhu with the 315. So Allen just swept calculator. So Allen, 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 Allen with Anthony Zhu, Warith, Eric Yang, Blake Malsby, Jesse Wang, Dina Spiegel. Now, is Allen, does anybody know if they're, are they region two or region one? I always get confused with them. They're region one. Oh, they're region <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, can anybody compete with them in region one? 6A? Highland Park. Oh, Highland Park. Year. That's right. Yeah, Highland Park. Is Highland Park Region 1 as well? Yes, sir. I believe so. Boy. Yes. Let me look up my UL academic alignments. <laughs> hey, uh, not that anybody cares, but Pasadena High School, we're going to 5A next year. Is that what you <laughs> mean? No, we, have, we don't have to compete against Clements and KD7 Lakes and those guys anymore. You know, Region 5, uh, Region 3, uh, 5A is kind of the weakest, weakest, uh, uh, region out of 5A, so we might have like a, a prayer if we work hard. All right, that's calculator. Uh, mathematics. Allen, Allen, Allen. A Warrath with a 342. What, what, what's this? Mathematics. Wow, 342. Anthony Zhu, a 340. Eric Yang, a 288. And then you got from McKinney Boyd, uh, Richard Jung. From Prosper, Arnav. Akaroram, and from Allen, Zafir, and Allen had a top team score of 970. Wow, really impressive, really impressive. And then he did give me the science results a little bit. Um, he doesn't have a picture, but first overall with Anthony Zhu with a 310, Eric Yang with a 308, Blake Malsby. I mean, in other words, Allen just, just swap everybody in, in science. So, are they the defending state champions of science? I forget. So, all right, that was the Princeton result. Allen, 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 very dominant performance there. And now the Red Raider Classic. So the Red Raider yeah. Classic comes in like uh, this big old file with everything. I didn't have time to separate it all, so. I didn't separate out everything, sorry. Hey, no, don't worry about it, man. Who has time? I know you're a teacher. I know how busy we are, so no worries, buddy. We'll just deal with it. So I'm just gonna quickly go. So they separated into one uh, A and two A, and yeah, overall. And overall at the top. Um, yes. So we'll go overall, and then we'll go team. All right. So overall, it's Plains dominating the one A two A division with Madeline Bunch, Gales Lozano, Paola Gallegos, Alan Gallegos, and then uh, as we scroll down, we got math. Math overall, all Saints in the one A two A division. Luke Rushing, Rohan Felton, Alex Zhu. Yeah. Number sense, 1A, 2A. All Saints, Sundown, and Garden City. I think Garden City is like the team champion several years running. Yeah, I think Garden City won the team, if yeah. I remember right. So the Garden City, but they're like a perennial powerhouse in like 2A of yeah, the Science, it's All Saints. They're looking good. Luke Rushing, Matthew Zane. <coughs> And then we go down to uh, chess. They got chess puzzle. Wow, good stuff. Uh, so they got the team results. It was Plains uh, in calculator over Garden yeah. City. And then in, in uh, mathematics, it was All Saints over Sudan. In number sense, Garden City over All Saints. Yeah. And science, All Saints over Sundown. So that's the one right. A two A results. Hey, were you there, yeah, uh, Mr. Newberry? All Saints. Huh? Were you there? Yeah, we were there. We were a little short-handed, but I had a couple kids had some family things pop up in the last minute and stuff. Right. So, what classification uh, is uh, Seminole? Seminole Ray Region One is not. Uh, they're definitely not as strong as they've been in the past. Um, from from some of those years when Argyle and us and Wiley were 
So when they were still four eight, when I was at Hershey, um, man, sometimes region was brutal. Hey, my money's on Seminole with their coach over there. <laughs> you know. So three A four A results. Uh, calculator overall. Uh, Alan Macias from Abernathy. And Denver City, Denver City has traditionally good teams. Yeah, that's usually that's a little lower than I expected them to be. He, I don't even know if they had a full roster that day okay. either. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a lot of uh, the smart kids are all drawn in so many directions. You don't know oh, how man. how full they were. And speech and yes, everything. Jackie yeah. Silva, Yasin Yanez, Denver City. We scroll down. We go to. Math overall, Denver City with Irvin Madrid with an 82. Talkington got a Carice, uh, Carice Chen, Noah Riggler. If we go down to number sense overall, Irvin Madrid from Denver City, Ramiro Rosas, Alvaro Losa. And science overall, uh, Ramiro Rosas from Wall, Kira Reynolds. Oh, there was a tie for first place. Haynes mm -hmm. Wayman. And if we look at the teams, let's scroll down to the teams. Calculator, Denver City over Idaloo. Uh, mathematics, Seminole. Mathematics, Seminole eats a victory over Denver City with a 182. <laughs> Number sense, Denver City beats uh, Seminole. So some good stuff over there. Good stuff. Science, Wall takes out Canyon. So... 3A, 4A, and then finally, 5A, 6A results. Calculator overall. Hey, uh, you still got uh, Abilene Wiley to contend with. I wish Conatillo would have been there. I would like to see some what the Conatillo scores were. but Yeah, people, a couple people. I, maybe you asked me about that. Or maybe yeah. Somebody else. Yeah. They're traditionally very good at calculator. So. It's, it's, probably a good, it's probably a good haul from, uh, <laughs> hey, that's from far. there. It's far. It's far. It's <laughs> far. Rudy Medina is a legendary coach over there. So, Arnov from Wiley, Paul Carper from Wiley, the, uh, you know, former uh, Aiden Gerser uh, teammates. Uh, let's scroll down to... Lubbock's a little down, huh, in, in uh, calculator. Hey, maybe. you don't lose an Aiden Gerser and not have a disruption to your team. Oh, right? that's true. That's absolutely true. You know, uh, so math overall, LaShawn Lish Prado from Lubbock, Arnov Garlop. Gar Gorlapati from Wiley, Senho Choi. That's math overall from Lubbock. Let's see. Number sense overall. Parth Mittal from Lubbock, Arnav from Wiley, Lishan from Lubbock, Tyrus Rogers from Coronado. And what, what kind of scores were those, by the way? Number sense? Two, two, 11. two okay, yeah, yeah. 11, I think, was first. All right, cool, cool, cool. It wasn't. That's just looking at those names, and I, I think I know an idea what they scored last year. So I, I thought that's what made me think the A test was a little harder than usual. Okay, okay, okay. In calculator, it's Wiley with a team score of 653 over Coronado. In mathematics, it's Lubbock with a team score of 600 over Wiley. In number sense, it's Lubbock over Wiley. And in science, it's Lubbock over Wiley. Wow. Uh, so Wiley did win a calculator, win calculator but uh, Lubbock seems to be asserting itself once more. So, so those are the scores, gentlemen. What uh, what were your notes, Ricky? You make any notes on these? All right. So, for that Princeton meet, uh, I've got some VCM scores here to compare. All right. Uh. So Roar uh, from Allen, uh, two ninety on number sense, three twenty five on the VCM three, uh, and really strong. Um, I was actually looking at last year's UIL State results to compare. Um, last year at UIL State, he had gone uh, two thirty two, so he's improved a lot in number sense. Yeah. Man, Ricky, you do your research, man. So you're so good. Uh, wow, that's pretty. <laughs> some good insight. Some good insight. Any other so notes he, for he us? Could be a, he could be a top contender by the end of the year. Um, last year, it was Andrew Lee from Highland Park. Um, 
I forget, is he is he still around or has he graduated? Oh, no, no. He was only a sophomore last year, if I remember correctly. Oh, shoot. <laughs> He's a junior this year. Isn't that correct, Brendan? Yep. He's a junior this year. He's going to be around. He's a, he was a Dang. 6A state champion in math as a sophomore. But, you know, man, Andy Spear, those guys over there at Highland Park, they're just so good, man. It's a, it was a fair battle between them and Clements. I think Clements got the the team in math, but uh, it's a it's a knockout drag out a warrior fight between those guys in math, man. So cool. Oh, and uh, I I think I accidentally said Andrew Lee got first in number sense. I was looking at the math results from oh. state. He got first in mathematics. It was uh Calvin Chu from Klein Kane who got first in number sense last year. I think he graduated. I think he graduated. He graduated. Oh, really, so. So cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Yeah. I think the top three from that, from that year uh, was Calvin Chu, Dylan Patel, and Sam Regalada. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Dylan Patel, I miss him, man. I'm, I'm sure Justin Lyon misses him. They were, they were thick as thieves over there at Clements. So. All right, hey, New, Mr. Newberry, what are your notes? You were out there at, at, at Texas Tech. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I think, uh, I don't know, I think most coaches out there were a little – a little, uh, a little disappointed with their scores. Um, maybe it's just a slow start to the season, but uh, yeah, with six A, with you know, anybody who's got to deal with Allen and Highland Park and in Region One, uh, West Texas has their, has their work cut out for. Them. So, and I can't remember who the really good five A's are um, in Region One, outside of. I mean, I know Lubbock and Wiley will, will be pretty solid. Um, kind of to you and calculator. Yeah, and then great uh, bombs up there. In four A, it's 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 really wide open. I I think right now, like probably my old school and and Seminole are probably. Um, I think we'll be finding it out in number sense if and maybe and maybe math. So. Uh, so the scores were pretty pretty down. Denver City has been pretty good, and I haven't met with Denver City. We've had we had a we had one practice together already, where we oh. just went to test, and so they're only at twenty minutes down the road. So okay, I'll probably meet up again with Brad sometime, probably between probably between the D test and the district sometime. That's the we'll coach over up. there, Brad Friesen. Oh yeah, I've heard he's a legend. Yeah. He's so he was at Plains for years and years and years. And then he's been at Denver City a few years. I've heard that name so many times. I need to meet this man. I need to meet him. He's an interesting character. Hey, are you going to be at San Antonio? I, I'm not. Yeah, um, so, so. I'm not. But I'll I think we'll definitely go next year. Mm -hmm. So um, I think they kind of had everything set in place. We take a lot of people to UIL meets. Yeah. Like at a 4A school, we're taking – I think we took over 50 to the A test, counting all the events. Like, it's it's a load for a 4 A school. I understand. Hey, uh, Ricky and uh, Brennan, are y'all going to be in San Antonio? Or yes, sir. States? Hey, for the first time, you know, we hosted a meet, finally made some money. I'll be taking a team. So I want you to come and say hi to my team so that my team can rub shoulders with greatness. Maybe some of it's contagious. You know what I'm saying? But come say hi to my team. Of Any other notes, Mr. Newberry? No, I don't think so. Okay, cool. How about you, Brennan? Any notes on that? I mean, especially with the Lubbock meet, it's very different from last year. Because last year you had Aiden and Tony who were Ooh. insanely talented. Tony Wang. And yeah, losing them both was kind of a big blow to all the scores and like the team scores, especially. So. It's definitely going to take some time to rebuild, but it's still looking pretty decent. And as for the Princeton results, I mean, Warth is looking like a triple threat at this point. I mean, he can make waves in all three, and I wouldn't put it past him to put, like, medals in number sense, especially. So. Hey, let's get him to co-host next time. <laughs> so that'd be great. Hey, guys, you know how much I appreciate yeah. when you all join me, man. I really appreciate it. Really gives uh, adds to the discussion. All right, hey, let's see what the live chat has in store for us. Let's see what's in the live chat. Oh, yeah, we got some some 
people have been uh, inputting here. Uh, let's see. Keeps, uh, so let's see. It says something about the Joshua scores, but I don't know if we have this. Uh, I don't have them. Uh, so that's what you guys need to uh, send me them so I can start talking to you. Hey, that's your task for UIOB. For UIOB, you all need to send me these results so we can have plenty to talk about. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll make sure and send ours. Um, we're headed to Lubbock, I guess, this week, this Saturday. So I'll try hey. to remember to send those to you. Hey, Ricky, Warren says uh, laugh, he's laughing his butt off because uh, he says do not talk about his state performance. <laughs> Yeah, he had, he had just uh, sent a message on the on the server about that. Ha <laughs> uh, But but no, he improved a lot. Um, it's nothing she he should be ashamed of. All right, all right, all right, all right. He said they're in the Discord. So hey, so we're gonna look at that Discord, especially people who want to call in. If you want to call in, start thinking about it. We're almost at that point. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see uh, if people really want to call it or not. Um, but we got some more results to go through. We got to talk about finally, uh, we have the Salinas stem in the valley. So we're gonna talk about some valley results, guys. Let's take a, this out. This is gonna be the Edgar Lemus Edinburgh North show in number sense. <laughs> and hey, and the Ricky Ochoa show also. So let's, let's go ahead and look at number sense ninth grade. Uh, Edinburgh North, the youngsters, uh, Diego Campos. Galilea Hernandez, Daniel Cardenas, uh, so ninth graders. Sorry. Uh, it's all right, don't worry about it. Number sense, 10th grade. Raimundo Martinez, Edinburgh North with a 220. That's a nice score for Edinburgh North. Nicholas Rocha. That's not Nicholas Ochoa, that's Nicholas Rocha, right, Ricky? Right. Oh, wait, oh, uh, they had written Nick's name wrong on the... Uh... On the on the official score sheet. So, so this Nicholas is Ochoa. Nicholas Ochoa. So this is Nicholas Ochoa. Yes. Okay. 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 So with the one thirty eight, David Rojas. All right. Hey, I know that you all be doing the robotics, so take some time away from your robotics. Oh uh, well, our our season just ended uh, this weekend. We didn't advance to state, oh, uh, right. so I have more free time to work on UIL. All right, Edgar Lemus, Joseph Abanoja, David Rodriguez, Edinburgh North, man, 314 for Edgar Lemus, 243 for Abanoja, David Rodriguez is a 201. I don't know, man, this might be the year that Edgar Lemus punches it through, man. Who knows? I know uh, he had high hopes last year, kind of fizzled a little bit at the state meet, but uh, he's looking really strong now. And then number says 12th grade. Ricky show at the 232, the Mowers siblings over there at uh, Harlingen High School with a 213-202. PSGA Early College High School with a 150. So there you go. That's their number sense. Let's look at calculator. Calculator ninth. Mission Collegiate, Juliet Suarez with a 210. Galilea Hernandez. Is that Mission Collegiate? MCHS? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Aubrey Conchola. Hey, so are you coaching these youngsters up? Mm -hmm. All right, you're being. Yeah, uh, uh, I will say, uh, yeah. Nicholas has been practicing with them more because he ha he sees them for lunch because oh. the uh, freshmen and sophomores have the same lunch period. Okay. So they have a bunch of lunch practices. All right, Nicholas, two fifty. Ezekiel Pena from La Jolla, one sixty eight. Art uh, Antrino Labas from PSJ Memorial, 145. One, uh, PSJ Memorial Early College High School. All right. Let's look at 11th grade calculator. Joseph Avanoja, 257. Edgar Lemus, David Rodriguez, Edinburgh North, Edinburgh North, Edinburgh North. Interesting. And calculator 12th. You know, Kevin Lopez was state champion a couple mm -hmm. years ago. 285. Ricardo Ochoa, 327 in calculator. Beating a former state champion. Jonathan Garcia, also from PSA. PSA has a strong calculator team, man. 
Nathan Mowers, 257. All right, let's look at math. Math ninth grade. Juliet Suarez, Mission Collegiate, it seems up and coming young lady. Galilea Hernandez, it's a couple of girls. Olivia, three girls to begin with in the ninth grade. Pretty good. I mean, that's if their name is suggestive of their gender. All right. Math 10, Nicholas Ashoa, 198. Everett Walker from Port Isabel. Hey, was Nicholas happy with his performance? For the math test, yes. Calculators, uh, he was a little disappointed, but uh, I mean, he's still doing pretty good right now. Pretty good. All right. David Rodriguez, 234. Edgar Lima, Edinburgh North, Edinburgh North. Enrique Alba, 138 in 11th grade. Joseph Avanoja. And then uh, Matt, 12th grade. 348 in math. <laughs> All right. Good job, Ricardo. Kevin Lopez, former state champion in, uh, in calculator. With the 242, Jonathan, 218, Samu Valencia, 208. All right, so to finish this off, let's look at the science, and then we'll have a chance to pause. So Kobe Smith, uh, ninth grade science from Sherilyn Pioneer, Brian U Euler. Hey, that's a that's a good name for a for a math for a mathlete. Brian <laughs> Euler, PSA Memorial, 62. Frida Palacio's idea. Science, 10th grade. Raimundo Martinez, Edinburgh North. Nicholas Ochoa, Mission, Mission Collegiate. Joshua Rosales, Edinburgh North. 11th grade science. Hey man, where's David Hovey? So Evelyn Castillo, Edinburgh North. Jose Ortega, PSA Memorial. Hey, was uh, David Hovey at this meet? So David and Daniel weren't at this meet. Were what? They, they weren't at this meet. Oh, they weren't. I think David had BPA. Oh, business professionals. Okay. Yeah, they have their, they have their stuff. Ricardo Ochoa, Science 254. Hey, you going to be Top Gun 3A? Uh, we're trying to get Top Gun three years in a row, hopefully. Um, and I'm really trying to gun for Science at UIL State this year. Uh Especially for top physics and top chemistry. Hey, my money's on you. Hey, Brennan, what was your placement at Top Gun last year? Did you place? Um, I think I was right behind Piyush. It was the science that was holding me back. Oh. Yeah, my science. So, I need to work on that science next year, especially. Especially with money on the line. Oh, actually, you got a oh, while. Yeah. You're only a sophomore. So. Yeah. But still, so are you going to win Top Gun this year? Who knows, honestly. I, I might, I might not. Depends on how science goes, honestly. I just need to practice it more. I think I'll be up there. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, give me a second, guys. All right. So that's it for the results of what I have. Guys, I need you all to send me the results UIOB this next semester so we can talk more. Uh, but any uh, thoughts overall? So this is uh, the Valley... And also, uh, thoughts overall. Uh, any thoughts, Rick, Ricky? Right. So, Enberg North is looking really good heading into state. So, um, on the VCM, uh, so Edgar had a 314 on the number sense for UILA, uh, 364 on the VCM, and Joseph had a 243 on the number sense. Um, for UILA and a 339 on the VCM. Uh, I believe on the test, Enberg North had a team score of 989, uh, beating yeah. out Clements by over 170 points. Hey, no more Dylan Patel for Clements, man. I, th I think this might be their year, Enberg North. Hey, um, and they're not I seniors, they're only juniors. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. he so said he was be around surprised. for a while. Their coach said he was surprised though, almost when they like he's like they pulled it out to I think get there last year. Garza, like, Coach Garza. Yeah. Hey. Uh, so. How about I, how's Corpus Christi Flower Bluff looking in number sense? 
<laughs> I haven't heard anything from them. You know, they were the weren't they've been pretty strong in, in number sense. Yeah, the last couple of years, right? Yeah, well, yeah, they're they're usually a pretty decent. Their the middle school is ridiculous. Um, yeah, the middle school is unbelievable. But yeah, they they were strong. I, I mean, I think they kind of uh, underperformed at state last year, maybe I think. But they're still like uh, ridiculously good in number sense. So. I'm just kind of curious. I haven't heard anything from them. You anybody heard of Corpus Christi Flower Bluff yet? I hadn't heard anything from them either. They didn't post uh, VCM results. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah well, I, haven't, I haven't heard anything. Well, people know. <laughs> I have connections with Anthony Gillespie. He has, he's he hasn't really told me. Well, he's tried to get in contact with the high school kids, but there hasn't been any luck with them competing. So okay. we still know what they're doing. Any more thoughts, uh, Ricky? So, as far as, like, my team, uh, for calculators, um, we have been scoring uh, a bit lower than Sabine at recent meets. However, um, I do think that our freshmen have really grown a lot over the course of the year. I've got the VCM scores up. So, between UILA and VCM3, they've uh, both gone up by like over 30 points. So I think by the time we get to Team SEA State, uh, we'll give Sabine another run for their money again this year. That's good. Hey, y'all <laughs> went two and two. You all won two state titles and they won two state titles in the STEM fields last year. Is that correct? I believe so. Uh, they had science and number sense. And y'all had calculator and math? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a battle. That's a battle. Well, they had a great coach over there. They got a great coach over there at Claywater Sabine. So, how about you, Mister Jeffrey? What are your notes? Uh, I don't have much different than than what these guys are talking. About. I don't have all the all the VCM scores in front of me right now, but uh, yeah, it's it's impressive. Uh, just looking at Edinburgh North development, I think it you know from from last year to probably being like the powerhouse this year. And I, I think they ended up doing pretty well at State last year. But I remember talking to Coach Garza when I was at State, and he was like, yeah, we, we kind of squeaked in here, and then and then they made something of it. So uh, you never count those guys out. And I always think, like, you know, as far as you guys doing number sense, like sometimes sometimes a short, a short little good three, four weeks can – knock you up 50, 60 points, and you do that with two or three people, and you can catch somebody that doesn't look like you uh, can catch. So, You know what I think? I think Edgar Lemus has a ship on his shoulder. I think he's out. He got something to prove this year. I think he has something to prove this year. That's what I think. Emiliano or Edgar Lemus, you want to leave a response in the chat, go ahead. But I think you got a ship on your shoulder, and I think you got something to prove this year after last year. That's what I think. I don't know. That's good. Hey, you need that fire, the eye of the tiger, yeah. that hunger. So, how about you, Brennan? What are your notes? Uh, if, I, if I'm going to be honest, I think Edinburgh North taking it home in number since this year. I think they'll be Clements. At least um, Edgar and Joseph, they've, they've been looking like probably the best one-two punch in the whole state. And... They've, they've been scoring crazy, crazy high on these Team SCA tests. So I think they're going to be tough to beat. And I then think. for calculator and math, I think I think Ricky's untouchable for all three in 3A. 3A? He's As the class? Individual. I think he's basically untouchable. There's no Eliza no. Roper to take him down this year? Yeah, no. It's it's not the same as, uh, as it is at, uh, like, Last year, last year Sabine had Eliza. They had Addison Langley as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now that they're gone, it's gonna be a bit tougher. But it's interesting to see, especially how their team will do against Sabine and Number Sense. And also, I'd like to add it out like PSJA. They've been looking pretty good, but they need to get more consistent. I feel like so. They got Oscar Santos, nine-time state champion at the helm. Uh, Is he coaching? Huh? Is he coaching now? He coaches, but he also got like four or five little little ones. So he's a, he's a busy man. He's a busy family man. That, that guy. 
I think one year he scored a perfect score in all three events, maybe in the same year. He's ridiculous, isn't he? You know, Oscar Santos, man, from PSG. We, I think we, yeah, I had a number sensor who was close to his class, but not quite. <laughs> some good, some good guy. And uh, he has a good, uh, Alvaro Leal, I think, he has a good uh, partner in crime, a good partner coach down there, too. Been doing it for a long time. So that's a good, a good punch over there. But, you know, it's so tough to extend yourself beyond the classroom. Uh, you know, it's a yeah. labor of love for us. It's a labor of love yeah. for us. But, you know, you got family. You got busy, full loaded classes. You know, uh, to me, this is the beauty, but it also can be rough to, to... So a shout out to all the coaches out there. A shout out to all the coaches out there who go above and beyond to make sure their kids got this opportunity, man. Hey, let's take a look at the... Let's take a look, final look at the chat. Let's look at the see if anybody's on Discord. And then we'll make a final go around. Some final thoughts. So let's take a look. Uh, so not too much more on the uh, chat. Uh, let me take a look at the Discord. See if anything's there. On the Discord. Oh, hey. I think we got uh, Montequilla Mexicana. I think this is uh, Edgar Lemus. Here, let me move him to the live room. Edgar Lemus. You there? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. You want to turn on my camera? Yeah, turn on your camera, man. Come on, man. Okay, sure. Que bueno, que bueno. Hey, is it true? Do you have a ship on your shoulder this year? Uh oh, the connection might be bad. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's a little bad. I'm sorry. No problem. Okay. Hey, we got you, uh, Edgar. No you're, you're there. How's it? How's it? How's it going, sir? How's it going? Hey, you know it's much better now that you called in, man. You know I'm always a joy when you <laughs> call in. Hey, is uh, it true you, that you got a ship on your shoulder this year? Are you gonna, the what, sorry? I couldn't hear. Do you have extra motivation this year? Do you have extra motivation this year after last year? Well, I would say that I I learned from last year. I definitely learned. Um, what did so you I learn? What did you learn? More... What did you learn from last year? Uh, well, if I gotta be honest, I. I have to keep my what's it called my motivation to myself. Okay. I I think honestly, sir, I think I I got a little bit too excited last year. Um, me calling out Dylan Patel. Honestly, I want to say sorry for him to the, for that. It wasn't really like to bother him or anything. It was just to I don't know to add fire to the UIL scene. I mean, that's what I wanted. That I wanted it to be more interesting. But. Of course, I think that in, at the end that put more pressure in my head during state and that played because they had a they had a toll on me like. Uh, but um, I learned from I learned from last year, and now this year, uh, honestly, it's just practice. Just keep the just keep doing the work. Just keep the determination. I wouldn't really say it's motivation. It's mostly determination. Um, uh, to do well individually, to do well with my team, uh, because I, I love my team, honestly. David, Joseph, Raimundo. Um, it, it's been a great journey with them, and I honestly, I, I want to go back to Austin. I, I miss Austin, honestly. Hey! I miss being over there. You know, uh, Edgar, uh, Akeem Olajuwon, one of my favorite basketball players of all time, he had the saying, he, had, he, he would say, you don't know a winner when they're winning, you know a winner when they're losing. Because it's how they react to the adversity that determines, you know, if they're a winner or not. So, so definitely, I, I applaud that you uh, you come at it strong this year. Hey, did we lose you? You still there? Ah, he might have had a tough connection, guys. We might have lost. Can you repeat what you said? Sorry, sorry. Is it working? Oh yeah, now I now it is now it is now it is. Yeah, I said uh, one of my favorite basketball players had a quote. He said, you know, you you don't know a winner when he's winning. You know a winner when he's losing because it's how he reacts to adversity that really counts. You know, yep. so I'm saying after <laughs> last year's disappointment, after last year's disappointment, it's good to see you're coming back strong this year. 
Yeah, sure enough, I was just gonna keep practicing, just gotta keep doing my thing, and who was the one who said that? I know a little bit about NBA. I know some stuff about NBA. What's that? Who was the one who said it? Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon? Hakeem Olajuwon said that. He was one of my favorite basketball players. Yeah, yes, Houston, Houston Rockets, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. Exactly. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, so uh, how's Coach Garza doing over there? No, he's, he's really good. Um, uh, he's really proud of us because, like, in the last two UIL meets, uh, there were TMCA number nine and number 10. Okay. So uh, uh, we got a team score of 1,101 wow. the last weekend and this weekend. Yeah, the past two weekends. So it was, uh, it was pretty great. Um uh, the, the weird thing also is that me and Joseph, like, uh, we got the same team score overall, and oh, me and Joseph tied both of those times. So it was, like, kind of weird, you know, like, weird connection. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, Mr. Coach Cross is really proud. He's pushing us hard. Honestly, if it wasn't for him, like, we wouldn't be at this level right now. Right. He, he's really pushing us. He's really pushing us. He honestly... Uh, just like Larry White once said, uh, I, I think he said it, uh, uh, he's probably the best coach in the state of Texas, I would say. Hey, that's some uh, great praise. That's some great praise. I truly appreciate all that he does. Uh, and, but we'll just see how this year goes. Hey, who's we'll your third score? Up. Who's your third score? Our third score is... Uh, it used to be between David Rodriguez and uh, Raimundo Martinez, but now it's more David because uh, Raimundo is busy with some stuff. Okay. But David, yeah, he's our, our third score right now. Sometimes he can, if it's a good day, he can get either our same score. Sometimes in the practice, he beats us, like me and okay. Joseph. He beats our score, so yeah, he, he's doing pretty good. Hey, that's scary. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> hey, how fast? How fast did you finish the last VCM numbers and steps? How did I what, sir? Now he asked, "How fast did you finish last uh, VCM number sense test?" Oh, dang! I, I don't remember. Know how much hard I think <laughs> either nine. I, I I think I used most of the time. Uh, it was either nine minutes, nine thirty. Okay. I don't think I used the I don't think I used the whole ten minutes. I've been finishing the test before the ten minutes. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm honestly, when I took that test, I felt really confident. I don't I don't know what happened. I think I just had a really good day, and I ended up getting that score. Oh, that was crazy, honestly. Hey Edgar, you know he's the author. He's the guy who writes it. You know that. Anthony Newer, yeah, we made a mistake. Yeah. I remember. Oh, okay. No, no coach Garza. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Coach Cars is awesome. Hey, Edgar, I'm going to see you at San Antonio, but this year I'm bringing my team. Oh, you're bringing Pasadena? Yes, I'm bringing Pasadena, man. I want you to say hi to these guys. Maybe show them a couple of tricks. No, nah, sure, sure. I'll do, well, we'll see what Garza says about that. All right, sure, all right. Sure. They're, they're good kids, but they're nowhere near your level, So, they're, but they're good kids. They're good kids. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. No, yeah. Uh, it, it would be nice to meet them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, I'm so happy you called in. What else? You got anything else for us? Uh, I just want to wish all the UILers, Brett Nashley, Ricardo Choa, uh, the Clemens guys, the Flower Buff guys, uh, uh, everybody in the UIL scene, uh, good luck. And um, I want to say thank you to both all the UIL, yeah, all the UIL in general, because if it wasn't for all the students, for all the coaches, this beautiful thing that honestly makes my high school life interesting. If it wasn't for you, I also really think I would be uh, as as happy as I am right now. Uh, I want to thank them for making this alive, for keeping this alive. It, it has been truly a great experience, and it'll still be for this semester and next year. Edgar, you're the kind of guy I love, man. You, you have such a great spirit. You're working hard, and you have a lot of fire and passion for this stuff. That's why us coaches do it because of guys like you, man. So, hey, continue to uh, continue to call in, continue to have that fire and passion, and I hope uh, I hope to see you personally at state. 
And I'm going to be looking at your UILB scores next. I'm going to look at your UILB okay. scores. I'll try to score better than UILA. I'll try. All right. <laughs> hey, bueno. Muchas gracias right. por todo. No, no hay problema, sir. Dele. Que le hey. vaya bien. Me saludas a todos. Buena suerte. Nos vemos muy pronto. Dele, sir. Thank you. Ahí nos hey. vemos. Take care. Take care, okay? Bye-bye. Igualmente, sir. All right. Bye-bye. All right, man, what a class act. What a class act. All right, so we're at the final thoughts segment. Gentlemen, Ricky, final thoughts. Okay, so I think the big takeaway from UILA results is it's going to be an interesting battle between uh, Justin Lai and Eric Lee. Brennan is probably... The best UIL prospect right now. Uh, all classifications. Pound for pound, uh, the best. And uh, Enberg North, I think they're the favorites to win number sense this year for 6 day. Some good observations. Good takeaways uh, from UIL A, and also from the VCM 3 as well. All right. Some good observations. Some good observations. All right, Mr. Newberry, final thoughts. Well, in 4A, it's probably science and engineering magnet. <laughs> oh. Just seeing their scores on their on the VCM stuff. Uh, Steve Livingston. Always puts up a battle, so I'll just kind of stick to probably stuff I know a little better. Yeah, sure. Um, these guys are amazing. Uh, they're putting up great scores. Um, I don't know that I even knew... I don't know how long Mission Collegiate's been around, but uh, I know they've. I know honestly, the the student coaching is so important. Um, when I've had my best team, so keep that up, man, and uh, Ricardo, and and pass that along. Like hopefully the people below you do the same thing as they as they move up the ranks. I think you said your is your brother coaching some people in calculator. Yes, uh, he's the main hey, one coaching the underclass. Well, I think it, it makes you better at it. Um, my senior year, I went to a guy's house every Monday night and coached him in number sense because he could never come to coaching. He could never come to practice. And I don't even think I took – I probably only took half as many tests my senior year in number sense. But by just going through every problem with him, like it was like practicing three tests or five tests. I don't know. But I didn't even have to keep. I didn't even have to do that much to keep sharp my senior year, after just helping him every week. So keep that, up. and that's huge. Uh, what the guy said on the phone is just like his. He wants to do it for his teammates. He wants to lead for his teammates because it's awesome. It's a lot more fun when you have all your friends with you. So I think the team's a big aspect, and it's it's good to get on here and still hear that people. Uh, Love doing UIL and putting time into it. It makes writing the test worth uh, worth my time. So I'll try to challenge you guys a little bit more on the next one. Um, but really, if you guys ever, he can give my email to you guys. If you guys ever need, uh, if there's just ever like one or two number sense problems, you're like, hey, I wonder if there's anything better to do for this. Uh, just let me know, and I'll I'll either try to come up with something or maybe I already got something. Mostly what I figured out is 90% of the people do the same stuff. <laughs> we just, some people are better at executing. But you guys keep it up. Keep moving. Uh, and you can make up a lot of points. So even if you're behind, I've had teams come back 300 points in, in a month. Um, so don't lose hope. Awesome keep think, stuff. Yeah. Awesome, just keep going awesome. forward and. As long as you're making progress, you got a chance. Good stuff. Good stuff. Brennan, final thoughts. Man, I'm just excited. I'm excited for district to come along. I mean, it's going to be really fun to see how these teams do, especially Edinburgh North with Edgar. He's going to be really good. I think he might win this year. But it's going to be interesting all around the state, even like in different classifications with Ricky. <laughs> He's going to dominate. And even in 4A, I think Magnet, I think they're going to win all three this year. I wouldn't. I'd put money on that, personally. Right. But I'm just excited, you know. 
Great stuff, gentlemen. Let me extend a heartfelt thank you to each one of you because I really appreciate you all add such value, such great perspective uh, to this discussion. Without you guys, it's not the same. Of course, I miss Peter Fuentes. You know what I'm saying? Andy Spear. It's good to have different perspectives, but you guys are awesome. Uh, you all like keep me on my toes and keep me informed and y'all have the fire, the passion. You know, Ricky, so Mr. Newberry, you walk the walk and you continue to walk the walk. Ricky, three, three event state champion. Brennan, perfect score. What can I say, man? Uh, you all are just awesome and I really appreciate it. Uh, so I'm really, so I got a, a plea for the audience. Next live stream is March 11th. The topic will be UILB. I need the results. So send me the UILB results from across the state. The more information we have, the better. All right, so please stay uh, active and alive. And uh, I just want to say I appreciate, every, appreciate everybody. And uh, as we uh, part, let me play some, some final music. Gentlemen. I appreciate y'all. Uh, UIO World, let's up uh, 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 Mr. Larry White, Mr. Cliff McCurdy, keep doing your thing. And uh, we'll be back March 11th live. And uh, take care, take care, guys.